So my first gig, my first official gig was with Phoenix Management and it was a rave called Bounce. I think it was out close to Butler, Pennsylvania, which is out outside of Pittsburgh. And uh, DJ Venom was booked. And it was so cool because, first of all, the night was awesome. I, I think, I can't remember if I opened the night. No, I think, I think I, maybe I went on second or third, but um, it was a good set. You know, I mean, I wasn't really all that known yet. A lot of my friends from the apartment on Atwood Street came to support, but but I hadn't, you know, it was the first gig, so this was the foundation set for what would be to come for the next year or two um, with my popularity in Pittsburgh, which eventually allowed me to go down to Florida. Um, but Venom, Venom was there, and I think Venom, no, Venom didn't go on after me. I think Venom went on two, two time slots after me. But uh, I remember saying to Venom before I went on, and we weren't even standing in the DJ booth. This was like, this was, Bounce was at a, uh, a skating rink. So the dance floor in the DJ booth was basically on this real nice wooden skating rink. And I said to Venom, this is my first gig. And Venom being Venom, <laughs> looked over at me and smiled and said, well, I'll be watching real close to see if you screw up. And, uh, he laughed, and I laughed, and I knew he was joking, but the frame of mind that I was in <laughs> as a uh, a young adult, you know, first gig, nervous as all, you know, and you have to remember too, guys, this was way before sync buttons. This is way before you had any real visual cue other than the lights on your mixer blinking up and down, going up and down from green to yellow and maybe touching the red. Sometimes if the beat was clear enough, you could rely on that visually. But for the most part, you're beat matching with your headphones, with your ears. And, uh, you know, it, it, at, back then, it didn't seem like as big of a deal because we didn't have technology to allow that to not be such a big deal. But you know, I thought to myself, geez, I hope I can hear correctly in the booth. And I'm sure a lot of DJs can relate to that. If, if you can't hear correctly in the booth, um, sometimes, especially back then, your preferred way of beat matching uh, can get messed up and you have to improvise in the moment. So what I mean by that is a lot of DJs would do the one cup, one ear cup on the shoulder thing. And then with their other ear, they would listen to the monitors and, and quite literally the live sound. Other DJs shut their monitors off and just had their headphones on and mixed solely in their headphones. But sometimes either one of those ways did not work and you'd have to switch it up so that you could get through your hour and not train wreck every single mix that you had. And uh, so yeah, I mean, just a cool story about Venom joking but also kind of freaking me out. <laughs> that was awesome.